Antique carousel figures are artifacts of our past and time's taken its toll. Moisture has caused dry rot and cracks in the wood. Layers of paint conceal ornate carvings. And in many cases, pieces have been repaired by amateurs, causing more damage than good. Today, many figures are getting a facelift as the artisans and craftsmen at Carousel Works in Mansfield, Ohio, restore these turn-of-the-century works of art. The chemical stripper we use is just a furniture-grade stripper you'd have a chair or anything else stripped with. It takes the paint down layer by layer, and as we go down, we can determine which was the last piece and take it all down to that, record all the colors, all the detail work, draw in and photograph anything we need to photograph. Then we bring it down to the original wood. Once it's all cleaned off, all the detail work is cleaned off, paint catches in all these little cracks, we bring it over and wash it off with a water bath, which is just a water spray to neutralize the chemical and take off any other loose pieces. OK, the second step of the procedure is done after the piece has been washed off and it's dry. What it is is to analyze what's actually wrong with the woodworking part of it. A carousel figure is laminated from um, one, two, three, and four inch boards. And it's built up. This is an elephant leg from the piece you're just looking at. And it's built, has a hollow center. This cuts down the amount of wood they have to use and the weight of the piece. What happens to it over the years is the joints. There's one big board that runs right in here that makes this hollow area as delaminated. When it was restored the last time, they had filled it with an auto body filler, which is a great filler, but it's not adhesive. It doesn't hold bond wood together. This piece here is let loose too. This probably looked like this one when it started. These boards have to be split apart, cleaned off, and re-glued. OK, we're mixing up an epoxy, two system base. They call it a wood filler but it's also a pretty heavy epoxy. And you use it in a situation like this to fill gaps and voids. Now see, this is what I'm talking about by using the epoxy type filler is you have a rock. In other words, you have a bow in one of the two pieces of wood. In this particular case, it's this one. And by taking and sanding it flat so that you'll get a flat surface here, you're going to reduce the size of it all around the edges. By doing that, you're going to kind of distort the shape of the head, plus have to do a lot of carving that wasn't originally there. Now just from the original fit, we know that the center of this is going to be pretty thin, and the edge is a little on the thick side. OK, wiggle it around some and try and spread some of your glue or your epoxy out. OK. That's one side, but you'll notice we got two of these. When the horses come to the painting department, they have been sanded and are ready to be primered. Each figure usually has three coats with a sanding in between to smooth out rough edges. We use Japan oils, which are a, um, a, pig, a color pigment in a dryer. So we find that they blend pretty easily and they dry pretty fast for us um, to do the body coats. And most horses will get at least two body coats, depending on the color of the horse. To spread the paints, we use a little bit of paint thinner and a little bit of um, linseed oil. The thinner we use to, keep the, to thin the paint out to make it blendable, and the oils we use to keep it wet enough so that it doesn't dry on us mid-blend. Mid <laughs>
The only other process that we do up in the painting department is to lay silver and gold leafing. It's a process where we put an adhesive on and it gets sticky and the next morning we come in and we lay the gold is 24 karat pressed gold sheets usually and the silver is like an aluminum leaf. We'll use it just for an accent piece to uh, brighten a harness. This is all silver leaf here but to give it a metallic look. And then it gets about um, a minimum of four coats of, of hand varnishing, especially on what we call the wear areas, the saddle, where your legs would go, where the children would handle it a lot and hang on to give it extra protection. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.